Hey guys, this here is some super low tech stuff, but it actually saved me the other day and I'm just so <laughs> fascinated by how low tech this actually is and how well it, it works. So I call this um, diopter, but I think it's actually called a close up macro lens. Correct me if I'm wrong. And it's basically like a, like a magnifying glass and just thread it onto any old lens you have. Let's see if we can thread this on here. I managed to drop this lens the other day. So the threads are a bit out of whack. Yeah, there we go. So what it does, it actually decreases the minimum focus and distance of the lens, which will allow you to get your lens closer to your subject and essentially turns any old lens into a macro lens. And this can be great, especially if you're like me, if you shoot a lot with a different vintage glass and you adapt lenses and sometimes you might have one or two adapters on your camera to get your lens to work properly. And in those cases, getting additional extension tubes in there might be a, a nightmare, so to speak. The image quality when you use these types of lenses will take a turn downwards, but it's pretty often a pretty nice, crisp, sharp center frame and it's only towards the edges where we get this massive softness. This one here is a plus four, and that's pretty much as far as I would go, I think. I've seen some sample footage where people use the plus 10 lens, and those tend to get pretty mushy and even get some chromatic aberration and other issues. So plus four seems to be kind of all right, especially on a 50 mil like this. And I used the plus four on my previous video on the Rode Lavalier 2 for all those B-roll shots and the close-ups of the Lavalier itself. All of those were shot using this lens and the Canon 50mm f1.8 STM lens adapted to my Fujifilm X-T4. That's a <laughs> lot of numbers. I just love how stupidly simple this thing is and that it actually works and if you want to play around and experiment with these types of lenses which i think you should because you can get a kit with these lenses there's usually four different ones a plus four plus now a plus one plus two plus four and a plus ten in a kit and you can get them on ebay or on amazon for about 25 bucks when I did some research on these uh, filters, I only happened to have this one, but people were saying that, or suggesting that you get a larger diameter filter, and this way you utilize more of the center portion of the filter, and thus giving you better sharpness across the frame. I don't know how true this is, but it sounds pretty logical. Anyway, uh, super low tech, just wanted to share it with you guys. Hope to see you in the next one. Okay, bye.